So you might want to be getting your racing gaming chair a full-blown seat belt, ladies and gentlemen, because this situation got more plot twists than a plate full of noodles, all right? And some of you might be like, yo, Skittle, like, what, what, what do you mean? I, I don't comprehend it, you know? But uh, the situation here is that they caught the McDonald's ice cream machine working. Oh, shit! And if you know, it never works. Today, we got the Mr. T Lexify situation, guys. We got the Noah J456 situation. We got XQC trying to do a try not to laugh react video on Noah J456. Bruh. Situation got pretty out of hand. Uh, needless to say, it's wilder than Johnny Sin's movies because you also got the homie Nick Merckx. He went in gang gang style and he went in for an uppercut this time. And the situation is so wild that apparently Noah J456 is being dragged on. We're gonna get right into the story. Like the video if you love your mama. Or if you don't like your mama, like the video if you like somebody else's mama. Alright, let's get into the story here. Alright, roll it. Hey, it's all because we will be addressing a hater today. It's unfortunate too because this used to be a friend. Kinda. Now this isn't a video I would normally like to make, I'm gonna be uh -huh. honest, it's a very, very stinky one, but I'm doing it because I feel like I owe it to myself, man, to keep things straight up. This guy Noah J was talking crazy after we got banned on Twitch, and I'm gonna be honest, I bit my tongue, I didn't say anything, but I wanted to. Now he was doing this, right, taking the moral high ground on me all while cheating on his wife, and hanging out with no mm -hmm. pedophiles. So if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna take the high ground on people and be the white knight and go around and act like you're better than everybody on social media, don't you think you should maybe not be doing a couple of those things? Tranquilo, Gotta bring papi, a little light to a dark tra tranquilo, papi, tranquilo. situation. If you like the video, don't forget to like. All right, let's uh, li like the video. But apparently, for context, right? Apparently, the situation got so out of hand that. You got the homie Mr. T Lexify, right? Now let's actually get into the story real quick because apparently what happened here is that Mr. T Lexify was accused of a bunch of stuff. It's We're gonna be here for an hour if we start talking about it, right? He was uh, accused of R word. He was accused of being a PDF file by his ex, okay? And there's a bunch of stuff. Now listen here, okay? Nobody's perfect. Lex also did make mistakes, but the entire internet turned on him and this situation got so out of hands that this man, according to his own words, whether you want to believe it or not, I personally believe it because I've seen his video, 30 minutes, where he cleared his name, okay? He provided full-blown proof and ev evidence, and his video was so honest, uh, so honest, okay, that doesn't sound right, Bruh. but but his video was honest, okay? I, can't, I, I felt it, a lot of people felt it, he didn't fake cried or anything, he just stick with his guns, and he just went for it, showed... Uh, evidence piece by piece and he cleared his name okay because and he's claimed that he was also hospitalized because of the hate he received because and, and i can understand uh that point because yep even i've seen him getting so much hate all right for for stuff that he didn't do yes he's not a hundred percent innocent he has made mistakes but let's be real guys like we gotta give second chances folks so we, we gotta give second chances yes there are certain crimes for which you cannot and i get that but there are uh, other uh, things where you, you gotta give people second chances man we all are we all make mistakes nobody's perfect but here's the thing he was accused of pdf file he's not that all right he's not that it's ludicrous to even think that he is he cleared his name and all that and while doing so he also did expose not j456 uh maybe he didn't need to yes there is an entire debate going on that he shouldn't have because right now what we're finding out is that not j456 cheated on his wife and listen okay uh, i'll I cannot defend Noah J. I'm not defending Noah J here, uh, but but I'm also somebody that cannot judge him on that. I'm just gonna let hit that be between him, his ex-wife, and the person he cheated with, and also between God. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a I'm a believer in God, but if he's not, if he, if he doesn't believe in God, then it's between him, his ex-wife, and the person he cheated with. I'm nobody to judge him on that. Not defending him, not promoting that. It, it's uh, ridiculous. It's it's a uh, it's sad as to what he did, it's disgusting, but here's the thing though, that's between him and his wife. So Mr. T Lexify uh, actually exposed him, he also exposed this guy, JC Backfire, he also exposed the, uh, what, what's the, uh, it's the Smith plays, right, the Smith plays, and all three of these fellas are his best buddies. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And the, the story here is this, that while he was accused of being a pedophile, R-wording his ex, they were believing Noah J456, okay? Noah J456, the Smith plays, and JC Backfire, the so-called Mr. T Lexify's friend, they were believing the Mr. T Lexify's ex's word rather than 
hearing him out and things got so out of hands that apparently the Smith plays made a response video as well and accused or basically siding with Mr. P Likesify's ex and what we're now learning is that the Smith plays and uh, Mr. T Likesify's so-called best friends, JC Backfire, the, the Noji 456, they didn't even heard this man's side and that actually rubbed a lot of people in the wrong way myself included because yeah it's like one thing to uh, accuse people of something but it's completely different thing to accuse people and not even wanting to hear their side you guys were supposed to be his best friend and the reason it's rubbing a lot of people the wrong way because we've all been there we have best friends uh we've had best friends we still got best friends and we have friends and any of you that have friends you're you know it right like your your friends are somebody that you can rely on that you can talk with uh, share some of your secrets with or uh and, and all that right like and you probably deep down would think that they would have your best interests at heart i hope they do and i hope nobody gets backstabbed but this man was backstabbed so i understand why he it did what he did and he exposed all of these fellas out here and and it's absolutely sad and uh what this man went through it's crazy right and, and now you got nick Merck's taken vengeance so uh, and the the thing is that nick Merrick also did say leave the kids alone i i thought that was a pretty sane thing to say and uh, uh like the video if you think if you're with leave the kids alone dislike the video if you're not i want to know where you at okay but nick Merrick said leave the kids alone and noah j456 went crazy at him and uh from what we're hearing nick did not respond but now he's responding after mr t likes if i said he actually cheated on his wife so that's the drama i hope everybody's like caught up and everybody's up to speed now let's actually get into it Roll on it. twitch uh for saying the derogatory term it's right there on your screen uh truth be told i did not know that that word was derogatory however we have learned during this i kind of let an emotional tweet go just kind of put it in the holster and went Pew! after that our friend or used to be anyway. Mr. Noah J came over to our tweet and said to protect the kids, peace and love. This whole thing is pathetic, man. Okay, Noah. Now, I didn't want to make this video, man. I'm going to be saying that a couple times because I really didn't. And I still kind of don't. I feel a little weird about it. But at the same time, man, I need to set the record straight. When you go around on social media saying these types of things and taking that high ground over everybody, like you're better than thou, okay? Mm -hmm. You better make sure your shit's clean. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. And he even links this chart. Nobody's perfect, man. Nobody's perfect. And I do believe in second chances. And I do believe in forgiveness. Yes, there are certain crimes and certain things where you might be able to forgive, but you can never let that person in your life. And there are also other crimes where you can never forgive. You can, you just gotta move on and you can never forgive. And I understand that part, but this one is like one of those things, right? Like he was calling Nick Marx out while he's not clean either he got skeletons and every, nobody's perfect i do get that i do get that but this is like one of those things so now he's going in for the uppercut i want to know your thoughts for it on that but you know, wait for it and if you take a look at the chart i mean it says a couple things but one of the biggest things that this tells me as a parent you know as a father is maybe we shouldn't let young children do this because yeah. bad things happen right which is kind of all that i've been preaching I think that there's a better alternative out there, a better solution. I don't know what that is, but we need to huddle up as a team, okay, yeah. as a country, as human beings. Yeah, and worldwide, worldwide. And for context, for two people that might not be understanding what he's saying, is simply against the idea of kids uh, switching sides like they were in a Call of Duty lobby. He's cool with kids switching sides in Call of Duty, and I am too. Bruh. But what he truly means is that kids cutting their PP and changing, like becoming a sister essentially. If they were a brother, if they were a dude, uh, becoming a, a chick, right? Like that's what he's against, and any sane human being would be against that, right? Let, let, let kids be kids, let them learn their 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, D, yeah, right? And after they're 18 or 20 or 25, because uh, scientifically proven, not even my opinion though! That's the craziest thing! The scientists do say that the brain is still evolving and growing till the age of 25, give or take. That's kind of like the number. Of course, some people would stop growing at 24, others might still be growing at 26, this and that. Of course, that number is not like the end all be all, but that's like generally what's being said. So leave the kids alone, man. At 12 years old, they do not need to cut their PP and switch sides, okay? Simple as that. Simple as that. So this is uh, what's being talked about right now, but wait, try wait. to figure it out, man, because this isn't working. 
is kind of where I'm getting at. Now, anytime you put something like this out on Twitter or Instagram, however it may be, you get a lot of people over here. You get a lot of people over there. So you can see the community on the right. Yeah, pretty split. It, a lot of comments in support. A lot of comments uh, not in support. You know, I tried to go through and like a few that I kind of agreed with. I mean, look, okay. this is a tough conversation to have. So I understand everybody being so uncomfortable about it. Look, I get it, man. It's not easy, okay? But still, we do need to figure something out. This is yeah. an issue, and we'll yeah, keep yeah. it over there for now. Back to Noah. A couple days uh -oh. ago, it comes to my uh -oh. attention that a lot's been going on in the camp of Noah J. Okay? And look. I don't want to highlight this stuff, and I want to make it clear that I know that people make mistakes, shit happens, I don't want to be this judgy prick all the time, but you guys know that I'm petty, I'm so petty, <laughs> and if you're going to be hanging around in the kitchen, sometimes you get burnt, he took it here, not me, I'm hitting play, I'm okay. going to do it. Oh, right. oh no, yeah, 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 hey, whoa, 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 tranquilo, tranquilo, time on, time on. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. You know, had to address some of his former zombie YouTuber friends, uh, the Smith Plays, JC, but Mr. T Lexify specifically called out Noah J456. Yeah. Uh, so that's Noah J456. That's Mar Martina. Uh, that's uh, his ex wife. So Noah J cheated on her with somebody else, uh, with a Twitch streamer. Uh, I, again, I'm, I, 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 I'm not going to judge him for that. That's between his ex, his. Uh, it, it, it's morally wrong. It's it's wrong what he did, but I do believe in second chances. I do believe in forgiveness. Uh, now I also do believe in this aspect of life as well. Where, for example, right, like if my partner cheated on me, I wouldn't want to be with that person ever. Okay, that's my line. That's my line, and I understand and I understood that was uh, from this uh, entire thing that that was apparently Martina's line. She drew a line and she separated. That's it, okay? Simple as that, right? I get that part too, but I'm not part of this, so uh, I'm not gonna judge the guy. That's it, that's where I'm at, all right? But uh, wait for it. For cheating on his wife, Martina, with a fellow YouTuber by the name of Fulsi, and because mm. of Noah cheating on his wife, Lex the Smith plays, JC and Noah himself, couldn't continue the Z House series. Mm. I don't want to hear about a lack of trust where nothing bad happened when you did not listen to Noah's ex-wife Martina about Noah's scandalous behavior in 2021, which did not allow for a third Z House to happen. Noah invited all of us to Texas in September 2021 for a third Z House, yet nothing was ever filmed. Okay, so yeah, so, so she tweeted this on November 25th, 2021, really not okay today, please send cute funny pics, so m that must have been the day she found out, or maybe divorce happened, or something like that happened, I guess. Because Noah cheated on Martina in 2021 at EDC. And I think it's safe to say, now that Mr. T Lexify has exposed Noah J like this to the people, we ain't never getting that fire <laughs> tutorial now. But I'll tell you- Okay, uh, those of you that played Call of Duty Zombies, or you still play, or if you were there, Black Ops 3 Zombies days, one of the best times to be a Zombies fan. I love that era so much, man, and hopefully Black Ops 6 Zombies is gonna be that good. Now, that was a running meme that Noah J would never make a fire to a boat tutorial, and I'm seeing a lot of memes right now. People are calling Noah J456 unfaithful J456. Bruh. There's like a whole lot of these terms uh, going around like he's never gonna be making a fireball tutorial anymore. <laughs> be because apparently he was caught doing Easter eggs with another streamer, so no pun intended. Tell you what Noah J456 <laughs> did give us. He gave us a live stream that he titled Talking, where he addressed all the proof that Mr. T Lexify presented. And I do think this is a strange move from Noah. Why didn't he make a video that he could just post? I think it's because he was scared that it would catch a lot of attention. And I do believe Noah J made a stream with an ambiguous title to maybe not reel in a lot. Now, I I'm not trying to defend Noah J, but for an objective standpoint, Noah would have been better off not even responding. Just like how JC Backfire did not respond. Uh, the Smith plays might respond, but so far he did not. Maybe he don't care enough, or maybe he's trying to square things up behind the scenes. And if he's tr trying to square things up behind the scenes, that's cool. But I guess uh, maybe... Uh, but if he's... Uh, here's the thing, right? If he's trying to square things up, he probably would have taken down his video. But he did not. So maybe that's not there. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to make sense of it. But in this situation, Noah would have been better off not even talking about this, right? A lot of attention. 
but YouTube video stream or GIF, if there's a bad YouTuber apology that needs to be recognized, <laughs> trust me, I'm there. So let's take a look at <laughs> Noah J's uh, a response to Mr. T Lexify's proof of him cheating on his wife, Martina. As most of you guys know, years ago I was married and I uh, met a girl and got married right out of college in Texas. And due to family values, we weren't able to live together or uh -huh. move in together until after we got married. In the coming months after we got married, we finally moved in and we both individually came to the realization that we were really not a compatible couple. Our oh. lifestyles, living together, our wants and our needs, and many more things never really matched up eye to eye. Because is I grew up something? instilled in me that divorce is never an option, no matter what. He's I he tried to make things work. So Noah like J is not something. winning no Oscar anytime soon. He yeah. is the worst fucking actor I've ever seen bad. in my entire life. <laughs> and I really hate the excuse. But, but like, it doesn't mean if it's incompatible, just leave the relationship, right? It doesn't mean that you gotta go around and, you know, start doing Easter eggs with another another one. This is another baddie. This is why I always say, guys, don't chase the pom pom, man. Chase your dreams, bro. And I get it. I get it. Sometimes you wanna go for those dark tunnels. Don't do it, man. <laughs> Don't do it! A lot of people's lives are ruined. Well, we're seeing that happening firsthand. This man apparently was hospitalized because of the false accusations. And yes, he cho he chased the pom pom, and that pom pom fired back. And he, metaphorically speaking, he almost got shot. Metaphorically speaking. So, right, what we're learning here is that don't chase the pom pom. Don't let your dragons uh, go in the dark tunnels. Now, I get it. A dark, a, 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 a dragon must go through a tunnel i'm very well aware of that Bruh. a dragon gotta go through a tunnel okay god has designed us that way okay dragon gotta that's that's the only way it works okay a dragon needs to go through fly through a tunnel all right some yeah it has to but guys you yeah you can choose to not go through a dark tunnel go through the tunnel but not the dark tunnels though there's a difference man don't, don't don't chase the pom pom man. That's all. I, that's that's what I stand behind, man. Uh, don't don't let your dragon control you. You should be the one controlling your dragon because it's your dragon. It's not somebody else's dragon, all right? Control your dragons, folks. He gives here. He says that's control your dragon. Because my personal beliefs, you know, I was raised a certain way because I grew up instilled in me that divorce is never an option. Listen, that sounds ridiculous. And any mature person, any grown person, would get Ish. a divorce. Three years yeah. ago, I met another streamer, Foosley. Uh, and, and like, even if you're, even if you're religious, right? You you can get divorced. Yeah, religiously you can. Uh, legally, of course, that's the law. You can. Uh, yeah, even yeah, you can get that. You should have got that. Uh, I guess now you have is what we're learning. But hey, I guess it's whatever. Uh, that that's the thing though. If he was innocent, then understandably he should have made a response video. But we know he's guilty, so. You were better off not even making this video or stream. Ended up having many long talks with her about her breakup with her then fiance that she has had been going through. And me, in my marriage, that I was very, very unhappy in. So we bonded through these He's talks. He's reading something for sure. We realized that we had feelings for each other. Uh, yeah, he, he, was, he's, uh, he put a script uh, for the stream. Nothing wrong with that. He's just wanted to collect his thoughts. Uh, we're not gonna criticize him over uh, him reading that. His eyes are going from and the left to the right. Are going to try to make excuses for me. I already see it in the chat. So no one. Okay, on this one, I bring you the homie XQC. This is where he was doing try not to laugh style react. We're gonna get back to it. Okay, we're gonna get back to it. So here was the chat. This is the chat. So we bonded through these talks, and at some point, we realized that we had feelings for each other. I know some of you guys are going to try to make excuses for me. I already see it in chat. I already am seeing like, we love you and stuff like that. And I just want to repeat, like, I'm not sharing this experience with you guys for people to forgive me. I'm not expecting people. Hell no cap L. Okay, there are two W's. Oh, but it's the same person. Armando? Bruh. Armando, yeah. Only Armando's dropping w W's. People to forgive me and I don't want to be forgiven. Angel, Angelo ask who is saying that? Bruh. So. XQC chat says nobody said that. After we shared these feelings, we decided to end contact, and we haven't spoken to each other in the three years since then. 
I made literally the biggest mistake of my life. I hate that I have to read this off a of fucking script, man. Damn, homie. <laughs> okay, that's that's okay. Let's get back to the the the, the content now. What is reaccounting how or to the main thing, my bad. How he met Fulci, I guess, and he looks over at the chat supposedly and says, "I already see that you guys are trying to defend me, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say I don't think anybody was defending him in the chat." <laughs> I know some of you guys are going to try to man this guy making this make video excuses for me i already see it in chat i mean who the fuck would defend <laughs> this guy for cheating on his wife i'm gonna go ahead and say it this Nobody might be was. the worst youtuber apology i have ever seen in my life this is not pretty sharing bad his experience with you guys for people to forgive me after we shared these feelings we decided to end contact and we haven't spoken to each other in the three years since then okay. i made literally the biggest mistake of my life and had to accept that i did something that i was incredibly unproud of and getting closer with someone and developing feelings for them next couple of years since then i treated myself how i thought to right. I deserved to be treated i punished yeah. myself and it put me in a very very dark place for a few years and i love the line that noah had about not forgiving himself Next couple of years since then, I treated myself how I thought I deserved to be treated. I punished myself. Yeah, bro, so f***ing metal. It's not easy for me to publicly admit <laughs> these mistakes from my private life, and it's not meant to G be. Gary, whose video is this? And the years after doing what I can to stay focused on strengthening my values savage, and actions man. behind them. And I'm sorry that this will not be enough for everyone, and it should not be enough for everyone especially in the heat of the moment, but I hope that it's understandable that the only thing I can do as a human is keep moving forward from oh, the this mistakes is, this is hard that watch. I know I've oh, made. And I gotta be honest, man, this was just a very unfulfilling response. It felt like Noah was looking around, right? He was sighing all the time. He was fake crying. He ended this off with saying, I'm just trying to do better, and I'm trying to move forward as a human. That the only thing I can do as a human is. Now, now listen, I, I do believe in second chances. I do believe. I, I mean, not with this one. I, I should say second chances in terms of. Because, like, he didn't F us here, right? Yeah. He didn't F us right in the pom pom or anything like that, or right in the a hole or something like that. He didn't F us, right? He cheated with his ex wife, so. Uh, cheated on, uh, on ex wife with some uh, Twitch streamer. Yeah, that's what happened, right? Bruh. So, like, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, you know what I mean? But, uh, and I do believe in uh, second chances and forgiveness, but here's the thing though, uh, he cheated on his ex-wife and uh, if his ex-wife don't want to forgive him, that's understandable too. He should not be asking for our forgiveness or he should be asking for her forgiveness in this case. Maybe he have behind the scenes. That's why I'm saying like this response video was unnecessary uh, unless you were innocent and you wanted to like really prove your innocence then totally makes sense but in this situation you just shot yourself on the foot just keep moving forward from the mistakes that i know i've made which you know i guess technically there's nothing wrong with this but i think it's very evident that noah did this on the live stream purposely he definitely feels like he has something to hide he does not want this to blow up in his face and the entire video was just spent fake sobbing and crying. No, I would have had a lot more respect for you if you just, you know, stone face, addressed the shit, and you yeah. kept it real. Yeah. Say so you did it, bro. Yeah. You did it. All right. You know, I made a mistake. Read three I paragraphs. Mean, biggest... Act like you're. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, or or you could have said, yeah, I made a mistake. Uh, it was a couple of years ago, and, and I'm trying to be trying to be better. Cause we all, yeah, we all do make make mistakes though in life. We we do, we do. This is why I, I have been saying second chances, and I do believe in forgiveness. But I also understand that some of you watching, or maybe a lot of you watching, uh, might not be uh, of that opinion, and that is understandable. Now I'm saying that generally, like I said previously as well, there are certain cr certain crimes where you cannot never give that person second chance you might be able to forgive them though but you gotta move on forgive them and move on but no second chances and that's understandable for me it's like if my partner was caught cheating or i caught her cheating right oh it's over oh it's over yeah i might be able to for forgive her but i'm gonna move on i'm gonna move on yeah you know you feel what i'm saying so it's like one of those things and, and in this situation i guess uh martina his ex-wife uh maybe forgive him maybe not and that's her right uh it looks like that no second chances and that is perfectly understandable too but you're trying to uh ask for our apology or you're trying to apologize to us right now it, that don't make sense that don't make sense so
Let's you're crying. Life. Instead, Noah, you decided to Jesus. put on this theatrical performance and fake cry and sob everywhere and just, you look bad, man. This is a very bad look. And I gotta say, Mr. T Lexify soloed you. And now yeah. I gotta ask yeah, yeah. myself, the Smith Plays made there a video are. about Mr. T Lexify's allegations. Will Pat make a video about Noah now? Probably not. I can assume not because based on Mr. T Lexify's video, JC, the Smith Plays, and Noah are, you know, in a circle jerk together. But needless to say, Noah, man, this was one of the worst YouTuber apology videos I've yeah. ever seen. Nah, it has been absolutely unjust. Uh, it's unjust as to what happened with Mr. T Lexify. He was backstabbed. Uh, accused of many things that he did not and it, it's just absolutely pathetic unless there's a uh, more allegations comes out uh, uh, with evidence that proves otherwise you you feel what i'm saying but di this was that video that where we covered the mr t likes Boy situation check out this video on the screen and i will see you right there if you already have seen it then check out the video on the left